swing. It's a little chilly out this morning, but you can hear the birds. It's beautiful. Last night we had a bear in the backyard. I'm getting ready to go out with mother. Her television finally bit the big one. So we have to go out and get another TV. And it's such a beautiful day. It's glorious out today. It's just beautiful. The sky is so blue and the sun is shining and it feels so good. It does. It feels so nice to be out. But now I have to go to the store again. Yesterday I had to take my car and get an inspection and then I got tires and you know when you leave your house you always spend money I don't care who you are isn't that the truth though isn't that always the truth I'm swinging on a swing and I'm am I making you so a little dizzy because I'm swinging on a swing in the backyard but it's so nice I can't believe how beautiful it is today after the winter but I love the winter too because the winter is when everything falls asleep and then it comes back to life in the spring and the buds are starting to come out on the trees just a really nice day. Just a really nice day. My daughter's in the house. She's cleaning the refrigerator out. I said, yes, do that, won't you? <laughs> do that, clean the refrigerator. And then I said, well, if you're home today, you might as well vacuum. So she's doing that too. Why not? Help out the mother just a little. Lily's out in the backyard. I can't believe we had a bear in the yard. But that's typical. That's really typical for here. We had a bear. We've had the same bear coming into our yard every single night. And I keep telling Doug, get that bird feeder out of this backyard. And I always forget to take it in at night. But the bear bent it, it just bent the whole entire thing. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Nothing. And now I'm waiting for mom to come because we're all gonna go look for another television. And then I'm sure we'll turn this into some sort of luncheon today because that's usually how it goes. And I will talk to you all later. Oh, it's such a, it's so beautiful. It's this, there's a little Christmas in the air, which is always so nice. I'm listening to the sparrows and I can hear the robins. They're, is it robins or blue jays? I hear the blue jays. Oh, so nice. Anyway, I figured I'd just come out for a little bit and swing on the swing. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye. So, Mother, what happened yesterday? Your television? My television went oh. in my bedroom, and, and i just so sad about that. Now it's going to cost me money. Well, I thought I'd get maybe 55 or 65 inch in the bedroom. Oh. So, I took Denise along with me. Oh, my. So, she could help me decide. Why do you need a 55 or six? Why does she need a 55 or 60 inch television for her bedroom. Well, I could that have, makes absolutely no sense to me. If I'm you know, to, these roads couldn't be any more bumpier. No, they're terrible. They're terrible. They're just terrible. <laughs> you know, you would think we're in the back mountains. Uh, well, <laughs> well, we are in a way. Oh my goodness. My God, if you were pregnant, you'd have that baby right now. You would. You'd have that child right in the car. <laughs> oh my. Say something else. Well, we just arrived. And now we're going to go in and look for a television set. Mother, are you excited? All excited, yeah. I'm happy. Sure. Why not? Something. You're spending money today. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> She's spending money. Well, we're going to go in and we'll look for a television. Hopefully, we'll get one. We should. So, Mother is a sneak. We went into the place to go get a television for her. She lied. She wanted to buy the television set for me. So I'm going to be getting a new television set, which I thought was so nice of Mother, but she didn't have to do it. But she's sneaky. That's okay. It's nice to be sneaky once in a while. <laughs> now we're off to do something else. Now we're going somewhere else. We're going someplace else. I don't know. We're off and about. No, Goodbye. Sure. So I'm back home, and Mother is a sneak. She is a sneak amongst the sneaks because I did not expect for my mother to buy me a television set. I really didn't. I really did think hers broke down because she, she called me yesterday and she said to me, Denise, my television broke in my bedroom. Will you come with me to get a new TV? And I said, yeah, of course. I said, I'll, you know, we'll go and we'll go look at a television together. And we get to the place and she's like, oh, I think maybe I'll get a 65 inch or a, a, a big, t I said, for your bedroom? I mean, honestly, what do you need a big television for for your bedroom? And she said, no, 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 I think that's a good idea. And I was like, just listening. 
And then she said, well, how big is the television that you have in, you, in your house? I said, it's 36 inches in my living room. As you can see, well, you've seen around this living room a little bit. It's not a bit, this is not a big house. This is not a big house. But the snake, who I love and adore my mother, but she was so sneaky, she made the whole entire story up, just like a snake. She made the whole entire story up, and she said, no, I really want to do this for you because you and Doug do so much for me, and I just want to do something for you. Now, really, my birthday was just recently, and she bought me that beautiful pocketbook. There was no reason, no reason at all to buy me a television set. When I said to her, my television set's working perfectly fine, and she said, no, no, no. It's, I have to be honest with you, it's an analog. Oh, it's true. It's an analog, you know, with the, the tubes in it, but it still works. I know, I know. I'm the only, I don't get rid of anything unless it, it finally goes. But she said, no, 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 you know, you need to get rid of that television. I'm like, okay, I didn't know it was bothering anybody so much, but I got rid of, I'm getting rid of the television and I should be getting a new one soon, which I'll show you all. And, but I just thought it was so hysterical that my mother would talk to me and look directly at me and just lie right to my face because nothing, you no know, things, typically you cannot surprise me in a lot of ways, but that was just like really surprising to me, it really was. So I'm happy and at the same time I didn't want to see her do that, but she did it anyway, so what am I going to say? It's my mother. I would have done the same thing with my daughter. I know I would have, but we had such a good time together. We went out and about. We did not go and have lunch today. So we just got a little crazy. So we ended up coming home, but then I went grocery shopping with Angie, and then we went to Walmart, which I have to say, I hate Walmart. Now, I know their prices could be really good, but I hate Walmart because it's such a big store. It's so gigantic in there. and I just, But I got my exercise in. I got my ex. I walked and walked, and I was pushing that cart. And Angie kept filling the cart up, and I kept pushing the cart. So I did get my exercise. I walked around that whole entire store. Those are those super centers, and they're so gigantic. They really are. They're gigantic. But I was glad. I had the opportunity to see my friends today, Justin and Jonathan, and I hadn't seen both of them in such a long time. So that's where we bought the television, so I was seeing some of my friends from there. And I just enjoyed seeing them. But... Now I'm home, and I'll be honest with you, I'm exhausted. I'm looking just to take the makeup off. I know, terrible. Take the makeup off, and you know what's coming next, the pajamas. And you know what's coming in the pajamas. And I know the ladies will understand. You take the, the top off, the bra, everything. The brassiere goes, and you just want to get comfortable for the day. Because I feel like I did a lot, and I really didn't do a lot, but I feel like I did a lot. So until I see you all the next time, Oh, I have to tell you, too. Yesterday, I went to get my car done. I did. I went to... Oh, how do you like my hair? See, I'll change. Look. Look at my hair. I had it cut. I don't know if you could see it. Let me see. Let me see. There you go. See? Had it recut. I need to cut short. And I'm going to tell you why I need to cut short, just so that you know. Because I'm a baldy type of girl. I am. I, my hair is so thin. So super thin. It really is. I don't know if you could see how thin it is. Yeah, where if I don't keep it short, it just doesn't look right. It, it, it would look, you know, when you have really fine hair, I have very, very fine hair. It's very thin, like the rest of me should be, but it's not. So it's just very fine. So I keep it really short. And because, and I dye it, L'Oreal, nine and a half, nine and a half NB. Yes, I do. I dye my hair, like you couldn't tell, it looked like a little pineapple. But I dye my hair. And only because it's, it's so fine that you can actually see my scalp. So if I let my roots grow in, which is like more of a brunette shade, and it's mousy and it's disgusting, but I've been doing it since I've been 18, um, it shows full spots. So I keep, it, I keep it short. Not that I care. I don't care because eventually if I have to shave it, and believe me, I've been said I'd shave my whole entire head. I'd shave my whole entire head and go completely bald. I'd actually shave, because I think my head is a nice shaped head, so I think I could go with just like a crew cut or just a shaved bald head. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, as you get older, you can get away with a lot more things. I think anyway. But until I see you all the next time, I want you to please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below, because I have such a crazy life anyway. Be kind to one another. That's really all that matters. And I'll see you all soon. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.